Hey guys, great news today. We're going to create the most awesome edit ever. And this is possible thanks to today's sponsor, Phantasma, who provided us with the Cinebunch bundle. More about that later in the video. Now you're probably wondering, Jill, why aren't you wearing your Premier Basics t-shirt? Well, it was kind of smelly, so I put it in the laundry. And normally I have a spare t-shirt, but I also put that in the laundry. Okay, so we all know that the internet is full of super dope travel videos, epic b-roll videos, and so on. But what makes those videos so good? Well, of course, it's partly because of great footage. Duh. But the edits are even more important. It's all about the effort that you put in it. Or that you let someone else put in it. Because today we're using the Cinepunch bundle by Phantasma to create some super dope transitions, LUTs and so much more with just the click of a button. Or rather the drag of a mouse. Anyway, it's a paid bundle though, so I'll leave a link in the description below, but it's not a plugin, but a variety of tools. So all of these transitions and LUTs are made within Premiere Pro with effects from the effects panel. So you can actually make these yourself if you want to put the time and effort in it. Now let me first show you the raw edit. It just has some basic cuts, but no color grading, no sound design or any effects applied to it. Just footage and music. It already looks okay, but we can spice this up a lot. So first, I'm going to import the transitions, and the way to do this is actually very interesting. We don't have to install anything. We just have to double click on our project panel, go into the Transition Punch 5.0 folder, and look for the Premiere Pro project. Now import it, and a window will pop up asking how you want to import it. Well, select the Import Entire Project, and then check the Create folder for Import Items, and allow importing duplicate media boxes. Once that's done, let's open up that folder, and you can see we first have a bin called Change Resolution. It's a sequence, but if we right-click on it and select Sequence Settings, we can change the size of it. And this will allow the transitions to also rescale to your sequence size. But let's leave that as it is for now. In the second bin, we find a variety of transitions, and inside of those transitions, we we find variations of them. So basically we have thousands of transitions at our disposal here. I'm a huge fan of old vintage looks, so I'm going to use the film reel transitions here. Now before we can drag and drop this, we'll first need to disable our first video and audio track, and then drag the transition on top of the cut where you want to transition. And as you can see, there is already a cut in the transition to line it up with your cut. Now the transition itself exists of multiple tracks and an audio track as well. This audio track is a piece of sound design made to fit with the transition. Now let's play this transition. Damn, this actually looks really dope. But as I mentioned, these were made inside Premiere Pro. So let's have a look at how the effect is made. The top layer is basically the offset effect, which lets you scroll your clip, but it always loops itself. And also the fast blur effect. And this is an effect that looks boring on a normal clip, but if you play around with the motion of the clip, like for instance with the offset effect here, you will get the blur on the clip. And as you can see, these effects were both animated and eased. And the layers underneath exist of color mats with a mask and a blending mode, in this case soft light. With these layers, he created the box surrounding the footage and the perforations on both sides of the clip. Now the final layer has the transform effect applied to it to create a small zoom animation at the point where both clips transition. Now let's add some other transitions to this timeline. I'm not going to go in depth in all of them, but this gave you an example of how much thought Eric from Phantasma put into those transitions. Let's go for the quake cuts. The first one looks promising. Bam! How cool is this? Let's do another. Maybe a camera crash. Let's take the inverted one. Bam! Oh, what's this? Well, here you can see exactly how these effects were configured. They were linked to text animations. Now luckily, this layer doesn't do a thing, and we can simply delete the graphics clips and have a look at our transition. Oh man, I love this one! And since I've took a lot of photos during this video shoot, I'll also add a photo camera transition. Ooh, nice! So, as you can see, there are 70 bins with transitions, and each of them has a variety of variations, so there's a ton to choose from. And next, we have a ton of motion graphic presets, 
which actually work exactly the same. Just drag and drop them above the inner or out point of a graphic layer. Now, I always tend to nest the transition layers with my graphic layer to make sure that it doesn't affect the underlying video clip. And lastly, we have the sound effects pack, which includes the ultimate transition sound pack. Next, let's have a look at the LUT master pack, which is also included in the Cine Punch bundle. Now, to install this preset, right click on your presets folder in the effects panel and select import preset. Then head over to the LUT master folder, choose installers, Premiere Pro, select your version, I'm using 2020, so that's this one right here. And then select it and hit open. Once it's installed, you'll see a folder called LUT Master inside of your presets folder. And in there, you will find some LUTs. LOL, gotcha, not just some LUTs. Once again, there are a ton of LUTs folders which each have a variety of variations. I like to use mine on a adjustment layer above my clips because that way I can play around with the opacity and blend modes to get a desired look. Now the ones I really like are the Lux LUTs, the Retro Film Stocks, Technicolor and Vintage ASC LUTs. But let's have a look at a final thing that I want to highlight here. And this will also help us to enhance our edit even more and that's the Big Pack. Inside are a ton of assets like haze, anamorphic flares, light leaks, and so much more. And we can just import those in Premiere Pro, drag and drop them on top of our footage, and play around with the blend modes and opacity. Now let's have a look at our final result. As always, I would say that's it guys, but to be honest, that's not it. I'm honestly so mesmerized by the amount of stuff that is inside of this CinePunch bundle and it only costs $49 for a regular license. So guys, of course it's up to you if you're interested or not, but if you're interested then click on the first thing below to find this insane bundle. I'll see you guys next week for our very first Halloween episode and as always, stay creative.